What's up, everybody? You guys are doing well. Today's Monday, Labor Day. It's been really slow today, so I wasn't really planning on working. But I was online, you know, just in case I got a good order from Publix because Costco is closed. Anyway, I was just chilling from home and trying to catch something. But as you can see on the title, I got my first favorite shopper order and there's still a few things that I don't know about this guys but we'll figure it out right now it's 11 26 a.m. and this is exactly the time that I was supposed to begin shopping for that order but something interesting happened a $34 Publix order popped up in my screen a few minutes ago and it's only going one mile 17 items so I obviously took it I think I have some time to start the favorite shopper order so I don't think it's gonna be an issue for me to go to Publix complete that order and then go to the other store for the favorite shopper order it is actually a Walgreens order guys hmm. I don't think it's gonna be a good order but we'll do it for the video I just want to find out how it works and uh, share my thoughts with you guys so we'll see how that goes but yeah it is a Walgreens order I have no idea who this customer is apparently I've only done one batch for them before I have no idea how it's gonna be I don't think it's gonna be a good order to be honest since it's from Walgreens you know but we'll see, we'll just do it for the content to see how it really works. It was very interesting that I was able to get another order before that one. And uh, I think it'll work out. Although I have no idea either from which Walgreens it is, which location. So it's a little bit of a gamble. If it happens to be from a far away location, that's gonna be really questionable, but I have a feeling it's gonna be around this area but we'll see when we're done with the Publix order and we're able to see more details about that favorite order because like I said guys I wasn't able to see which location it was from how much the order was the only thing I was able to see was the name of the customer and the name of the store which is Walgreens you know but nothing else now I'm about to get to Publix let's get this one done quickly and then we'll see what's going on with that favorite order let's go okay so as I was recording that clip I got a notification from Instacart saying like hey you need to start shopping for that favorite order whatever something like that apparently they keep sending you reminders about getting that started and stuff but According to what I've seen on Reddit, I should be fine doing this Publix order first. I don't think I will have any issues, so let's see how it goes. Okay guys, there's the order. It took me nine minutes to shop. Let's go check out. And it's only a five minute drive. Cool, let's get it. Okay guys, just dropped off that Publix order. We're about to find out how much that Walgreens favorite order is. Let me check. Okay, it's not bad. It is a $17 order going 1.7 miles, four items only, I think. And the store location is fairly close to where I'm at right now, so that's nice. Obviously, it's not a game changer because it's only 17 bucks, like I said, but I was kind of expecting it being from Walgreens, I mean, obviously it wasn't gonna be a banger. You know what I'm saying? If I would have received a notification from a store like Publix or the Fresh Market or, you know, Costco or something like that, that would have been different for sure. I would have had uh, higher expectations on the uh, order amount. But like I said, this is not bad. I'm not gonna complain. Let's go get those 17 bucks. One thing I forgot to mention guys, so when the batch shows up on your screen, 
you open it up as any other batch and you gotta hit start right where the accept button would be on any other regular batch and now for some strange reason it says 2.5 miles instead of 2.1 that was showing me previously but whatever who cares almost the same okay guys so instead of driving to that walgreens which was 3.2 miles away from where I was at, I decided to come shop at this other Walgreens that I was practically driving by. And it's gonna be a four mile drive from here to the customer. So in theory, I should be able to save one mile of driving overall, because I would have to drive three miles to that other Walgreens, plus another two miles for the drop off. So that makes it five miles, right? But I was here at this Walgreens and it's only a four mile drive from here to the customer directly. So four miles, you know, I'm saving one mile. Let's go get it. Okay guys, here's the items. The little tiny item right there is a glass repair kit. Now let's go pay. I'm currently four minutes away. It took me a little bit guys, believe it or not. I had trouble finding those four items. This order will put me at 50 bucks roughly, so it's not bad. I think I could try to make 100 bucks today and that would be perfectly fine. So since my goal for today is only $100 and I don't want to be waiting around too long, I just took a $37 order from Publix and it's a triple, 50 items going five miles. It is not good, guys. I probably wouldn't take this on a regular day, but since my goal is $100, I don't want to be waiting too long. I'm just going to do it. It'll put me at 87 and then we'll probably do another last quick batch after that and we'll be done. Let's go. Trust me, guys. That wasn't at all what happened. I ended up making way more than just $100 good orders just kept coming in so I couldn't say no to that stick around until the end and find out how much I made and if you're enjoying the content feel free to subscribe to the channel or at least give me a like let's keep going that last order wasn't that bad it took me an hour and nine minutes and right now I'm on my way to another Publix I got a $23 order going a mile 20 items it'll put me at like 110 for the day so that's cool all right guys let's go seven minutes oh my goodness people i was about to call it a day but i couldn't turn down a 76 dollar order i can't believe it it's okay it's gonna take me like two and a half hours maybe because it wasn't even from a nearby store. I was like eight miles away from the store and it is going nine miles on the drop off. And it's 91 items, 130 units from Ingalls, a store that I'm not too familiar with, but it's fine, $76. Let's go ahead and do it. It has a $60 flat tip, so should be able to put me close to $190 for the day. So that's awesome. That's way more than what I was expecting today. I'm on my way to the store. I'm only six minutes away right now. Let's go. Oh my goodness, guys. It's been almost an hour since I started shopping and I'm struggling to find the items. Oof, man. This store is massive. The layout of the items is way, 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 way different than any other store that I'm used to. So I'm having trouble, but I'm taking my time because I don't want to go like back and forth throughout the store because like I said, it's so big. So I'm taking my time to find the items. And look, this is how it's going. A lot of drinks. I uh, still need to find 25 items or so. Let's go. Guys, look. It took me an hour and 29 minutes. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Let's go pay. Okay. It's a 10 minute drive. It's, uh, it's not too bad. And it happens to be only 6.8 miles for some reason. It's not nine miles like it said. 
so well that's good man i'm so exhausted guys Wow, I can't believe this order was so, so bizarre. It took so long, but this door is so big and items are laid out very, very, very different than Publix or other stores that I'm used to. That, wow, it took me so long, guys, but it's all good. $76, two hours, I'll take it, bro. It's not ideal, it's not the best order in the world, but it is what it is, $76. I'm not gonna turn it down, you know? <sighs> Done. At least there were a bunch of kids here and they helped me out with the drop off. Okay guys, I'm exhausted. Another order, $30 Publix. Things gonna come down a few bucks. I did a couple of replacements, I mean refunds but it's only going two miles. Let's get it. And it's the last one for sure, let's go.